the studio of today's contestants. A retro music collector from Chesney, South Carolina, Alex Hull. A teacher from Seattle, Washington, Evan Chen. And a college student from Red Oak, Texas, Jose Caza. And now, here's your host, the star of Jeopardy, Mark Leona. Thank you very much, Brandon, and welcome once again to Jeopardy. Three new players with us today because our current overall champion, uh, Jason Myers, was not able to uh, make it to this taping because of some unforeseen events that popped up at the last moment. Uh, we do hope to be able to have him back uh, with us on our next program. In the meantime, though, uh, Jose, it's good to see you again. You won a game earlier this season, I do believe, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, we'll see what happens in this one. Uh, Evan and Alex are both newcomers uh, for this season. And uh, Evan is actually making his debut on my channel. So I will allow him to uh, give a brief profile to the folks uh, on YouTube land about himself. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, so I'm Evan Shan. I am a teacher in Seattle, Washington. And uh, on my spare time, I love reality television. I've actually applied to Big Brother. I didn't make it so far. But I still, I feel like I still have a chance. All right. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And Alex over here uh, won a few games on the Frankie's uh, series before that had to be uh, before that had to be canned. And uh, as you folks uh, will recall from when Frankie was doing this, Alex is very bright. So we'll see if his knowledge on the, these subjects helps him out. Gentlemen, if you're ready, let's go ahead into the Jeopardy round. List. One daily double in this one, of course, and your categories for the first half of our game are the Old West. This category is full of vinegar. Okay. Then we've got everyone's favorite category that we see on Wheel of Fortune a lot, before and after. Uh, dump. dump. Yes. Uh, next, we have entrepreneurs. Note the spelling on that. Who wrote it? And finally, the WWE Slammy Awards. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah. Brandon, I had a feeling you were going to like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's not as bad as it sounds, guys. Yeah. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, tr trust Brandon on this one, folks. Uh, all right. Uh, Jose, you are in the uh, you are, were the designated champion for this one, so that means you're going to pick first. You know what? Since we already brought it up, let's get started with it. Slammy Awards 200. All right. Well, here we go. The 1986 Slammy saw Nikolai Volkov win Most Ignominious and As Girls Just Want to Have Fun, Best Producer was Mona Flambe, also known as her. Alex. Who is Cindy Lauper? She's the one. All right, Alex. Okay, let's do WWE Slammy Awards for 400. Doing the work of two and a half men, this actor beat Tyson, Schwarzenegger, and the Muppets to be top social media ambassador in 2012. Jose. It's Charlie Sheen. Winning! Your pick, Jose. That was a guess. My God. Slammy Award 600. New sensation of the ring in 1997 was this guy who now dabbles in action films and TV. And basically world domination. Time. And that would be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Jose, oh, pick again. Dang it. Wow, that is amazing. Miami Awards 800. This ex ufc -er, an arm bar master, got a This Is Awesome moment of the year slammy for her work in WrestleMania 31. Time. And that ufc -er is Ronda Rousey. Go again, uh -huh. Jose. Yeah, we've never gotten it. Finish it off for a thousand, sir. No winner for 1987's Song of the Year, 
Sika ate the envelope, but this WWE head honcho was nominated and did perform Stand Back. Oh. Time. That would be Vince McMahon. Uh, Vince McMahon, pardon me. Uh, Jose, let's go somewhere else. Let's do the Old West for 200. If you were being serenaded by a prairie tenor around the campfire, you were hearing this cut-rate wolf. Jose? The coyote? Yes. Pick again. Old West for four. Some lazy, some crazy. These marks were registered in a book and showed the ownership of open-range cattle. Evan. What are brands? Yes. You're now on the board, and you get to select. Uh, this category full of vinegar, 600. All right, going in the middle of the board for vinegar. A proper Brit will not have his chips with anything but this vinegar made from fermented barley. Evan. What is malt vinegar? Yes. Pick again. Uh, before and after, 800. If they used a well-known brand of kosher hot dogs instead of bats, the Dodgers and Phillies would be in this baseball group. Time. That would be the Hebrew National League. Oh, Think you understand now how before and after works, Evan? I know. Oh, I knew that piece. I got it. I, I knew it. Never mind. All right. You're good. All right. Well, pick again. Uh, let's, do, <laughs> let's do 600 before and after. All right. Same thing. Oh, we're confused six. by the way this works. Yeah. Grinning, enigmatic acquaintance of Alice in Wonderland seen in cross section by doctors. Time. The Cheshire Cat Scan. Ah. Cheshire Cat and Cat Scan in this case. Evan, go again. Oh, now oh, I get it. A thousand. Condition of being unable to think of anything to pen for a long time that becomes a neighborhood celebration. Evan. What is Rider's Block Party? Yes. Pick again. Um, before and after 400. Golf short game practice area served up in the title of a Dr. Seuss book. Time. Oh. Putting green eggs and ham. Evan, go oh, again. Wow. Uh, who wrote it? 600. The play Waiting for Godot. Evan. Who is Samuel Beckett? He's the one. Pick again. Uh, who wrote it? 800. An essay on criticism, 1711. Alex. Who is Alexander Pope? Yes. Your pick, Alex. Okay. Uh, who wrote it for Bowser? The 1986 memoir, All God's Children Need Traveling Shoes. Time. A very uh, well-known offer, Maya Angelou. Alex, oh. pick again. Oh. Uh, let's finish off before and after for two hundred. Let's do that. Giant bell in the London clock tower that published Poor Richard's Almanac. Evan. What is Big Ben Franklin? Yes, there you go. Big Ben and Ben Franklin. Pick again, Evan. Uh, category full of vinegar, 800. In 1864, this Frenchman showed how the, how the acetobacter bacteria turned alcohol into vinegar. Evan. Who is Louis Pasteur? Yes, very good. Um, Old West, 800. The pre-Civil War discovery of gold in Colorado led to cries of this alliterative site or bust. Evan. 
What is Boomtown? No. Elks or Jose? Nope. Time. Pike's Peak. Yeah. Uh, All right, Evan, pick again, please. Old West 600. Answer, Daily Double. Oh, my God. The only one in this round, and Evan, you have $2,800 that you can risk, and you can wager any or all of it. Uh, let's make it a true Daily Double. Okay. Ooh. Oh, boy. That's the first time this season someone has said that, I do believe. Evan, you will go to $5,600 if you are correct on this clue. This Arizona site that entered Old West legend in 1881 had livery and feed stables in its full name. What is OK Corral? You got it! Nice. Wow. All right, up to $5,600 for you, and you get to select again. Um, who wrote it? 400 the poem Mending Wall. Evan. Who is Robert Frost? Two roads diverge to the wood and I. That is him. Yes. Uh, let's finish the two. Uh, let's finish the category. Finish it for Who wrote it? The novel Catch-22. Who was that? Evan. Who is Joseph Heller? Yes. All right, you're up to 6,200. Go again. <laughs> Um, this category full of vinegar, a thousand. This organic product, perhaps from Bragg, is combined with turmeric for a drink said to be anti-inflammatory. Alex. What is apple cider vinegar? Yes, that's the one. All right, your selection, Alex. Uh, let's finish the Old West for one thousand. Jesse and Frank James saddled up with these other brothers, Jim, John, Bob, and Cole. Time. They were known as the Youngers. Go again, Alex. This category is full of vinegar for four. Kartoffel salt. Uh, car, let me start again. Kartoffel salad, German this salad, gets its zing from vinegar. Evan. What is potato salad? Potato salad, yes. Pick again. Um, Entrepreneur Ayers uh, for 800. Ariana Rockefeller's fashion line has roots in great, great grandpa co founding this company. time. And that company was Standard Oil. Evan, go again. Uh, same category, 600. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her dad is a musician of note, but it was she who was VH1 slash Vogue Designer of the Year in 2000. No. Time. The dad was Paul McCartney. The daughter was Stella McCartney. Yeah. Evan, pick again. Uh, vinegar. Made from Tribbiano grapes, this Italian vinegar is aged in barrels to get its dark color and sweetness. Evan. Uh, no. No answer. Nope. Alex or Jose? I'm trying to buzz in. Oh, there you go, Alex. What is balsamic? Balsamic vinegar, that's the one. All right, we have three clues left. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, entrepreneurs for 200. Dylan Lauren, daughter of this fashion designer, founded Dylan's Candy Bar in 2001 and now offers 7,000 edible treats. Alex. Who is Ralph L Lauren? Ralph Lauren, yes. Pick again. Entrepreneurs for four. This heiress, a reality show star, has brought 20 plus fragrances to the world and has more than $1.5 billion in sales. Evan? Who is Paris Hilton? Yes. And now the last clue for $1,000. Let's take a look. 
It doesn't take an oracle to know this last name of Megan, producer of Oscar-dominated films like Her and Zero Dark Thirty. Oh. Time. And that would be Ellison. All right, at the end of the Jeopardy round, we have Evan out front with $6,800. A good start for you, sir. Alex, you're doing pretty good yourself. You've got $2,400. And Jose, a distant third, but on the board with $600. And Jose, that means you're going to pick first in double Jeopardy. Let's get to that right now, shall we? All right. Uh, more money on the board, of course, in this round, along with two daily doubles. And your categories are... In the National Toy Hall of Fame. Oh, God. Oh, that awesome. When TV was free. Oh, those were the days, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, they wow. were indeed. All right, next up, Women of Science. Okay. Random Facts. <laughs> we're going to keep up smart. with the Kennedys. And oh, finally, boy. Current Sports Nicknames. All right, Jose, you're in third place. That means you get to start us off. These are good categories. Okay. Let's start things off with keeping up with the Kennedys for four. His dad was the Lion of the Senate, and this man, Jr., served in the Connecticut State Senate from 2015 to 2019. Jose. Was John F. Kennedy? No. Hell is laughing over there. I don't want to laugh. I'm just giggling. Oh, I'm trying to bring it here. Uh, All right. Uh, here, Evan. Here you go. Uh, who is Joe Kennedy? No. Alex. No. Time. Ted Kennedy Jr. Ted All right. Oh, my God. All right. Jose, it's still your board. All right. Well. Not gonna be going back there anymore, at least for a while. <laughs> All right, let's do. Let's go back in time when TV was free for four. He shot to fame in the seventies playing Mork. Find the post. Evan. God. Who is Robin Williams? Nanu, Nanu. Your pick, God Evan. Dang it. Really, Mark? Really? Um. TV free, $1,200. It was as if Earth ceased its rotation when this CBS soap that featured actors like Meg Ryan and Martin Sheen went off the air in 2010. Alex. What is As the World Turned? That was a very good show, and that's the correct response also. Pick again, Alex. Okay, I'll do When TV Was Free for 800 this news magazine's 1988 first episode covered precisely two days in Dallas's Parkland Memorial Hospital. Evan. What is 60 Minutes? No. <coughs> nope. Time. All right. If you'll recall, the clue said two days, and two days, of course, would cover a period of 48, 48 hours. hours. Yeah, that, was the that was the other one. Got it. Okay. Oh. Uh, when, uh, TV was free, when TV was free for 16 On a 70s drama, Kane wanders the West using this title martial art as needed. Nope. Time. Kung Fu. Oh, Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Uh, Alright, and finish when TV was free for 2000. In the 80s, Joan Collins was this schemer on Dynasty. Nicolette Sheridan took over in 2018. Nope. Time. And that was Alexis Carrington. Yeah, Let's go somewhere uh, else. Uh. Okay. Um, 
Let's do random facts for 400. Well, let's see how random these facts are, shall we? In 1912, Arthur Eldred made a fire from two sticks and a string and became the USA's first scout to earn this honor. Evan. What is Eagle Scout? Yes. Pick again, Evan. Uh, Women of Science, 1200. Daughter of Lord Byron, Ada Lovelace created one of these for a machine devised by Charles Babbage. Evan. What is calculator? No. Trying to buzz in. Alex. What is a computer? Computer? Uh, we'll accept that. Computer, program, or code. Ah. All right. Your pick, Alex. Okay, uh, let's go back to random facts for 800. On the Christian calendar, it's the day after Shrove Tuesday. Evan? What is Ash Wednesday? Yes. Your pick, oh, Evan. Oh my god. I'm a Chris. How did I not get that? Uh, my Toy Hall of Fame 1200. 20 years after it was introduced, this handheld console from Nintendo scored a spot in the Hall of Fame. Evan. What is Game Boy? The Nintendo Game Boy, yes. Pick again. Uh, keeping up with the candy, 1600. Answer? One of the two Daily Doubles. You gotta be kidding. Alright, wow. Evan, you currently lead Alex by $2,400. How about your 7200 do you want to risk? Um... 200. 200 only. All right, here's your clue. Timothy and Bobby Shriver both serve on the board that sponsors this international sports competition founded by their mom, Eunice. What is the Special Olympics? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Go again, Evan. Um, let's do... Oh, uh, I can't say. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, current sports nicknames, 1,200. Andy Smith, one of the world's best players at this pub game, is nicknamed the Pie Man. Evan. What is darts? Yes. Pick again. Um, sports nicknames, uh, 1600. The NFL's Tyran Matthew doesn't care if you don't know his nickname. Is this species a fearless carnivore of the weasel family? Time. And that species is a honey badger. Alex, you were not fast enough. Sorry. Evan, go again. Uh, Women of Science, 1600. Jennifer Duna and Emmanuel Charpentier are co inventors of the revolutionary tool CRISPR to edit these in the body. Evan. What are genes? Genes, yes. Pick again. Uh. National Toy Hall of Fame, 1600. This party game that ties you up in knots secured its place in the hall. Uh, to... Jose. What is Twister? That's the one. Your pick, Jose. Oh my god, finally. Finally I got one. <sighs> oh man. Let's do Toy Hall of Fame for 2000. She was born when cartoonist Johnny Gruel draw a face on an old doll his daughter owned. Oh, I'm going to risk it. Who is Raggedy Ann? Correct. Your pick, yeah, Evan. Uh, yeah, I would have been wrong. Um, Women of Science, 2000. Answer... The second Daily Double. Wow, my God. You found all three, Evan, and you've got more money now. How much do you want to wager this time? 2000 All right, value of the clue it is, and here is that clue. 
Vera Rubin confirmed the existence of this component of the universe, originally dubbed Missing Mass. What is black hole? No, not a well, bad dark guess, matter? but the correct response, yeah, Jose just said it. What is dark matter? Dark matter. All right, you dropped a little bit, Evan, but you still get to pick. Uh, random fact, 1600. Today, home to a U.S. military base, this nation was known as French Somali Somaliland until 1967. Time. And that was Djibouti. Evan, yeah. again. Uh, random facts, 2000. The Egyptian god Anubis bears the head of this animal. Mm -hmm. Nope. Time. And that animal is a jackal. Evan, still your board. Uh, keeping up with Kennedy is 2000. Late actor slash activist Christopher, who wrote books on addiction, was the son of Patricia Kennedy and this British actor. Time. That actor was Peter Lawford. Evan, still your pick. Current sports teams, 2000. Joel Embiid in 2019 won the trademark for this nickname name of his that also describes the 76ers strategy of improving the team. Time. Trust the process. Pick again, Evan. Uh, random facts. Finish it out. The Battle of Bosworth Field was the last major engagement of this conflict. Guess. That was the War of the Roses. Pick again, Evan. Uh, keeping up with the Kennedys, 1200. In 2014, for her dedication to various causes, she received a Presidential Medal of Freedom. Evan. Um, who is Madeleine Albright? No. Yeah. Time. Evan Ke or Ethel Kennedy, excuse me. Evan, oh, pick um, again. Um, Kennedy's eight hundred. For a time, political dynasties were joined while Carrie Kennedy was married to Andrew of this New York family. Evan. Um. Who is Carnegie? No. Alex. Who is Andrew K Cuomo? That's the family, the Cuomo family. Yeah. All right, Alex. Uh, National Toy Hall of Fame for 800. Splish splash, you can take a bath with this playful yellow inductee that floats. Alex. What is a rubber duck? Yes, and don't worry, I'm not gonna sing the song. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, you better not. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to. I will ask you to pick again, though, Alex. And finish Toy Hall of Fame for 400. 2018, sorry, 2018 inductees included the card game Uno and this type of machine with flashing lights, bumpers, and flippers. Evan. What is a pinball machine? Oh, very good. Pick again. Dang, you gotta get that right. Uh, Women of Science, 800. Nobel-winning pharmacologist Gertrude Elion oversaw the creation of the drug AZT, the first used to combat this condition. Time. And that would be AIDS. Evan. Oh. Uh, Women of Science, finish it out. Queen of Carbon Science Mildred Dresselhaus was the first female National Medal of Science winner in this E in STEM. 
Evan. What is engineering? Yep, that's the E. Two clues left in sports net names. Uh, 800. Italian soccer star Mario Balotelli might earn this video game nickname from the way he unclogs defenses. Really? Time. Alex, ah. you are not quite fast enough. It's a me, a Mario. Oh, oh dang it! Super, Super Mario, Mario to be I specific. To, I wanted to say that, but I was too scared. All right. Well, anyways, we have one clue left, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Why so serious? Tennis star Novak Djokovic has this villainous nickname. Alex. What is the Joker? Yes. All right, that takes you up to 6,800. You're still in second place, but you're in pretty good shape as we go into final Jeopardy. Evan in the lead with 9,000. Jose on the board at $1,800. So it's going to come down to final Jeopardy. And for the first time this season, all three players make it to final. So yay, progress. <laughs> anyways, anyways, your final Jeopardy category today is... Literary characters. All right, mm -hmm. think of a wager and PM it to me. Um. Okay. So, wait. What? Oh, on um. Yeah, on Discord. Yeah, yeah. Just go to my Discord PM <laughs> uh, Evan, and you can send me your wager there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Just click click on his name, and then you can send me your message in the box there. All right, it's in, and let's see. Okay, I have Evan's wager. Alex, I have yours, and Jose, I have yours. All right. All right, players, literary characters, your final Jeopardy category, and the clue that will decide our interim champion is this. From an 1894 work, his name literally translates to Tiger King. 30 seconds, good luck. PM mark your answer. And please be sure it's phrased in the form of a question or else we can't accept it. seen the book that this is based off of, or seen the film for that matter, then you're in good shape. Jose, we come to you first. You said who is Shere Khan? Yes, very good. Yep. And your wager is 1800 so you're going to double your score to $3,600, and we come to Alex. Do we find Shere Khan? We do. His wager. 6200 so that'll bring you up to $13,000, and that gives you the lead for the moment. Evan was leading coming into Final Jeopardy, and his response, who is Mowgli? Well, we know that that is incorrect, oh. and it's going to cost oh, you all but a buck. So, Alex School, you're the interim wow. champion with $13,000. Congratulations. Wow, what a game. All right, and Alex, that means you are going to face off against Jason Myers for the overall championship on our next edition of Jeopardy. We will see you folks then. Goodbye.